Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. We are here to talk Lucha Underground, and the sun is shining and the grass is green. I, I don't know why I brought up South Park, the movie. Um, hi, I'm Matt Mike. We're here to talk Lucha Underground. With me, as always, is the one only Sorgatron. How are you, sir? I'm here. I'm ready and revving to live free and watch some bikers fight. <laughs> Let them fight. Um, yeah, Lucha this week, Sorg. Uh, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. My word for this week is... It, it is is um anarchy <laughs> anarchy okay. as in sons of <laughs> okay okay um my my word for this week is departed hmm. departed okay mm-hmm. okay because there's a lot of people asking are you a cop are you a fucking cop whoa whoa <laughs> Well, no, because because we had the whole Joey Ryan oh, being a cop, oh. Cortez Castro oh. being a cop. I, I see, I see, I see where you're at. Dario Cueto saying, "I know you're both cops." <laughs> like, you know, are you a cop? You have to tell me if you're a fucking cop. <laughs> All right, Sorg, uh, ¿cuál es tu bueno para lucha underground this week? Uh, the good for this week was, jeez. Uh, I don't know what it is. I, I'm just so happy to see like Ricky Ray is doing good stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, and and see him in a serious thing. Like they didn't just kill him off after he was revealed as, as Villano or or whatever his name was. Uh, you know that I'm I'm just appreciating that. Okay. All right. Uh, my good this week is anything involving the hashtag Bagel Bites buddies. <laughs> yes. They did get featured. They did very much get featured. Hashtag Bagel Bites Buddies. Because <laughs> we got both of them, Sorg. They opened and closed the show. Mm-hmm. Much like a delicious Bagel Bite. <laughs> Hashtag Bagel Bites Buddies. Hashtag please sponsor, sponsor us. Hashtag Bagel Bites Buddies. But yeah, um, first we got some madness versus Masquerita Sagrada, which I I love watching Masquerita. Mm-hmm. I I know he's not treated as well as he was in the first season, personally. I think, but it's like I I want Masquerita to get one of the ancient Aztec medallions oh, so yes. badly. Oh yeah, I yes. just want him in that match. I want him in that in that situation where he could potentially be holding a championship that is taller than him. <laughs> I, I need that in my life. Like, I just need that to be a possibility. He doesn't actually have to win the match, but I want him to have a chance. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, then we got, um, you know, Son of Havoc came out, and, you know, we, we got a, a Lucha Biker Brawl, Sorg. Lucha Biker. Like, I sat down to watch some Lucha Wrestling, and all I got was this awesome Biker Brawl. And, and and Alex Carr is joining us in the chat room. He says, when pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. Oh, jeez. And that's, absolute, that's absolutely true. It is true. <laughs> it is absolutely true. <laughs> but, yeah, the biker brawl was so much fun. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was really, really good. Like, And I, I, I think I figured this out, Sorg. Um, you, made, you made a Majin Buu reference before we went online today. Mm-hmm. Son of Madness is Super Saiyan 4 Luke Harper. Wait, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because all the hair is a little bit longer. He's a little bit bulkier. You know, it's 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 all there. And also good for that guy because I I looked him up and he he didn't look like he was anybody special like on the Indies. Like unlike Matt, Matt Cross that has this like ten year history was on Tough Enough and everything like that. Um and yeah, it, you know, this guy kind of came out of nowhere and he's doing tremendous. Uh, in mm-hmm. there as a guy that's thrown in. Um, also, uh, you know, no, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that for my change. Go ahead. Okay. Um, but Sorg, not every show is perfect, as we know. Not even Lucha Underground. So, um, Sorg, for this week, qual es tu malo? 
You know, a lot of things can happen in a year since you filmed an episode and you're going to put it on TV. <laughs> like, you know, people can go to other companies. Things can happen. Mm -hmm. Some people could just completely be hated by everybody in the wrestling community. That's your, mm -hmm. your major face for the rest of the season. Um, so it's going to be an awkward um, um, rest of Lucha Underground Season 3 since uh, Sexy Star is not in the good graces of anybody right now. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of awkward to watch her matches. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really, like, I think it's even more ironic now that the start of their feud is Taya cheering for Sexy Star. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, hey. even, like, even though she's doing it ironically, obviously. Yeah. But I, I still think it's really funny. Right, because Taya was mixed up with something with her, or at least. Uh, Ray, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because um, Taya was the Ray de Reina, Ray de Reina's champion. Mm -hmm. And um, she basically had the title stripped from her, and they just awarded it to Sexy Star. Like yeah. there, there was a whole Michigash in between there, but yeah, yeah. that's where this whole thing started, and that's only gotten worse. So, with, so, uh, this is, so there's just tons of sketchiness around Sexy Star and, and AAA right now. It was where we're talking about, and if you don't know, uh, Sexy Star is uh, accused of um, being, you know, uh, intentionally hurting Rosemary that you would know from from Impact Wrestling uh mm -hmm. in, in a match uh at triple mania which is basically their wrestlemania down there yeah i, I was gonna say the, the only way this week in wrestling could be any weirder is if taya's debut match on impact tonight is against rosemary <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way this week could be any weirder mm -hmm. absolutely so, i know she's debuting tonight i don't know who she's facing if it's yeah. rosemary i'm gonna laugh <laughs> yeah yeah um but no i mean i I mean, that's unfortunate, you know, w w with that. But uh, eh, I, I, I don't know what they would do uh, beyond this. You know, we try and talk about I mean, yeah, you can't, you can't change what's going on with it now. No, 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 no. You, all we can do is just sit back and root for Taya instead. And to be fair, to be fair, the majority of people watching Lucha Underground are not watching anything else or into this news or anything like this. It's, it, this is something that for those hardcore internet fans and things like that that know this kind of stuff. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think, like, I think everyone who's watching Lucha Underground right now feels the same kind of apprehension that we do right now. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. they all know. Mm -hmm. If they're watching Lucha Underground, they know what's going on with Sexy Star. Yeah, that's true. Anyways... <laughs> Anyway, on my bad this week, I, I I still don't know where we're going with this Joey Ryan and Cortez Castro thing. Okay. Like next week we're gonna get a five zero street fight. <laughs> there's gonna be handcuffs and nightsticks and the Mounties. Sorg, Sorg, do you think there's going to be a stuffed pig? Because no. I think there's going to be a I think a there's going up. to be a stuffed. No, no, no. There's gonna be a blow up pig. Because it's Joey <laughs> Ryan. That yeah, well, Joe, Joey Ryan can use that for a bunch of different purposes, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, by the way, uh, I, uh, my uh, Mimalo also goes to Joey Ryan not answering a very important question I asked him on Twitter hmm. last night. Uh, I want to know what flavor lollipop he believes is the best. He seems like he would know. I would. That's it. He seems like the expert. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, Tina's saying maybe there will be a taser next week. Ooh. Oh, yeah. G give me a Lucha taser. Yes, please. Please and thank you. Th that that would be that would be fantastic. Uh <laughs> there, and there are a ton of bad connotations with police right now. I hope they didn't accidentally do in the original taping of this. Yeah. Um. Uh, all right. Sorg. Well, uh, Qualis to Cambia, what would you change this week? What would I change this week? What do I ch oh, what I, I remember this. Okay, yeah, I made a tweet about how uh, Son of Havoc and Son of Madness is basically like your Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero and Scorpion, but we forgot to swap palettes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Like you're doing Noob Saibot versus Noob Saibot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We got two <laughs> noobs Saiboting. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a change this week, but rather, Sorg, I'm going to have a don't change. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and that and that goes to Dario Cueto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't just, change, baby. Just, don't change. Just never change. Just, like, 
from his segment in in the cage with Matanza, mm-hmm. where he was just like fucking awesome. Like he just like he's realizing that he has to unleash his brother. And then when he comes out during the pull apart brawl, <laughs> and he says, "Stop this madness, end this havoc," like yes, <laughs> because it's son of madness and son of havoc. <laughs> So I, in my head, he's calling for their parents to pull their kids away from fighting in his playground. Oh, that's great. In my head, that is what is occurring. Like, he's expecting even taller and burlier luchadors named Madness and Havoc to come out and separate their children. (laughs) Mother of Havoc, mother of Madness. Yes, like I, I just <laughs> Alex Carr said, too bad you don't do show titles for these sword because two noob cybotting would be perfect. <laughs> oh, gee. but like I, Dario Cueto, just El Jefe. Like, I, I, I want another season of Lucha Underground, mm-hmm. if only if it's just Dario talking about shit he sees in his temple. Yeah. Like, uh, can we have that, the or, Dario shoot interview? No. Can we have DVD releases of Lucha Underground with audio commentary by Dario Cueto? Oh, or 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 they do the thing like they, they, you know, since you know, considering the people that do this show, um, they do the confessional shots, and they edit like 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 Dario interviews in character around some of the things that happen. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, like a 30 for 30 Dario Cueto. Can we have that? Can that be a real thing that exists? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it, actually, hold on. It'd be a 30 para 30. 30 for 30. Did you look, just Get look it. that up? Yeah. No, <laughs> I, 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 I know Espanol. Muy oh. poco. Muy poco. <laughs> but, uh, Sorg, where, where or oh, where do you rank Lucha Underground this week? Oh, number one, obviously. I mean, nobody else is as fun as this, and this wasn't even like a good week for Lucha Underground. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it, not that it was a bad week, but it wasn't like you know a holy shit week like we've seen for like the last month. Yeah, and honestly, if this was a week that someone could have taken down Lucha Underground, I think if, at least my personal opinion, if that um, no DQ match on Two Hundred Five Live ended a little bit differently, mm-hmm. I might have flip flopped my ratings. Mm-hmm. But uh, Lucha is definitely number one this week. All right, uh, so Sorg, where can the good people of the internet find you? You know, uh, uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, you can check out all the great podcasts and, and productions that we're doing. And also, hey, a big shout-out. If you enjoy this show, especially if you're on the Facebook feed, um, checking the video live or afterwards, please hit that share button. Share it on your feed. Share it with your friends. Tag your friends. Let's get this thing going. Let's get some more people on the live feeds and everything as we do this uh, every uh, Thursday, whatever time we end up doing it, whether in the daytime with the train going by me or at nighttime. Uh, without the natural light and uh, maybe a little early for Tina out there on the West Coast. But, uh, you know, get it out there, spread the mayhem, and uh, we hope to grow the Mayhem Nation so much. All right. And you can find me at Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitter machine. Also go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. I live tweet Lucha Underground every single week and sometimes use gifts from biker mice from Mars to sum up my feelings about a particular match. <laughs> biker mice from Mars? Yeah, we got a biker fight. <laughs> that's, oh, that's true. That's true. I didn't go yeah. back and see your toys, but now I need to. Yeah, and there's three of them. Mascaria Sagrada, Son of Havoc, <laughs> Son of Madness, oh, Biker Mice from Mars. Oh, jeez. Because Son of Havoc is kind of tiny, and Mascaria mm-hmm. is definitely tiny. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's right there. Sorg, basically, they're just rewriting my, my Biker Mice from Mars fan fiction from when I was, like, 10. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I mean, when I was that age, I was doing Ninja Turtles fan fiction, but that's... Uh... I, I was I was also... Uh, Sorg, I, I have also, more than one interest. I want to I make clear. I have more than one interest, Sorg. I, 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 I also... Also, fan fiction meant something different to a 10-year-old than it does now. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, maybe it did to me. All right, anyways. I work in a toy store, so our kids are weird. Uh... Uh... <laughs> All right, so... 
for Sorgatron this week. I'm Mad Mike, and we will catch you next time on the Mid Week. Ooh.